Kia ora and welcome to Mr Quiz, the channel where we play quizzes. Uh, so, it's been a while since I posted and over the last couple of weeks my subscriptions have just gone up and up and up and up and up. So thank you so much for subscribing and viewing my videos. Um, this just started out as a bit of fun to be honest. I play Spork all the time anyway so I thought uh, over lockdown why not start recording it. And uh, yeah, I appreciate that uh, people were liking, uh, liking the video so thanks very much. If you haven't subscribed already it'd be great if you could... Um, hit that subscribe button uh, to use the cliche. Um, it has been a little while since I posted. I moved house. Uh, I was away from town for a, uh, a few days and I've had quite a lot of stuff going on at uh, university as well. But uh, we're back now and hopefully we'll get some uh, two or three videos out every um, every week for you guys. Uh, if you want to see me play a particular quiz, hit me up. Uh, leave a note in the comments. Love the engagement I'm getting. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and as usual, I'll put the um, link in the description as well for this quiz so that uh you guys can have a play along before me if you like okay so um we are going to be doing another banknote quiz today i thought um that was quite popular last time we did the european one and now we're going to be trying to name the asian country given an image image of its banknotes uh so we've got 14 minutes for this uh 49 uh countries to get which i guess is the um total number of countries in asia uh so we'll just get cracking and uh yeah good luck to you if you want to have a go as well okay so first of all we have got thailand that's the king of thailand or the old king and thai script this one here is going to be our friends well not our friend uh saddam hussein i was going to type hussein but actually i want to type iraq i imagine uh delineating some of the um arabic speaking countries is going to be really hard uh here we've got Kyrillic, so this literally leaves a few countries uh russia we'll try russia first it was russia fantastic this one's easy because it's got a flag, so that will be Philippines. And now we have uh, what looks like... I'm not very good at um, differentiating between Japanese and Chinese script, but that was Japanese. Okay, this one here is in a script which looks like Bengali, so maybe Bangladesh. Okay, perfect. You can tell because it's got the lines along the top. Uh, this is an Arabic one. I'm going to come back and do those unless they're immediately obvious. Uh, this is also some kind of, um, it looks like Bengali, but I actually think this one might be Pakistan. No, uh, could be India. No, uh, there's mountains there, so it's Nepal. Bhutan was my other guess. Okay, this one here, um, the script here is quite distinctive with the circles. That's Korea. It's also be South Korea or North Korea. We'll start with South Korea. Fantastic. Uh, right, this one here is... Ringgit, which is the currency of Malaysia, so that's easy. And then we've got a picture of Mahatma Gandhi, so that will be India. Fantastic. Right, this is a unique alphabet. I believe this is Armenian. Nope. Uh, Georgian, maybe? Okay. Apologies to my Armenian and Georgian friends uh, for mixing that up. Uh, not something I come across often in my daily life. Um, this has a picture of Pakist uh, the Pakistani flag, and this is um, Jinnah, who was the first president, I think, of Pakistan after partition, so that's great. Uh, am I going to be disappointing myself if I say this is Armenia? Okay. Uh, that's Golda Meir, who was Prime Minister of Israel back in the day, and it's got Hebrew script, so it's easy. This is a half dinar. So... Maybe Maldives? I'm not so good with currencies. Um, Denial is probably like going to be Western Asia, like Middle East somewhere. Okay, this one here has Central Bank of something, 100 Baisa. Uh, what does that say? Port Gabus? I'm just going to throw something out there. Singapore? No. Okay, we're going to come back to that. Uh, started pretty well and then it's uh, slowed down a little bit one dollar is this Singapore yep Singapore uses dollars so it's good uh, then we've got 50 Manat Millie Banky trying to think what this would be I think it's probably gonna be Central Asia so Uzbekistan maybe Turkmenistan Kazakhstan Tajikistan <laughs> Kyrgyzstan? Nope, okay. Uh, 
we'll come back to that one. I just have to be a bit conscious of the time now. This is uh, the Sultan of Brunei. Uh, Brunei is also called Brunei Dar es Salaam, so we'll go Brunei. Excellent. Uh, then this is a picture of... It's got a Cambodian looking temple here, so I'm going to try Cambodia. But actually, Lao? Okay. Good, good, good. Um, this is Kualik, so that only leaves a few countries left, which are mostly the Central Asian ones, so we'll just knock those out. Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan, um, Tajikistan, well, watch me name all the Stan countries. Turkmenistan, uh, Uzbekistan, and, okay, Uzbekistan. My next guess was Mongolia, because they use Kualik as well. Uh, this is Chinese characters, so China, maybe. Taiwan, okay, very good. Uh, then we have Arabic, which we'll come back to. More Arabic. My plan is to leave the Arabic ones to the very end. Okay, this one is Kurlik as well. Uh, let's try Mongolia. What have we already, already had? I can't even remember. Um, I'm just going to end up typing these for everyone because I can't remember which ones have already gone. So the one thing about these quizzes is you can't uh, go back and see which ones you've already guessed. Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Ugh, Uzbekistan. Did I type Uzbekistan? I can't remember. Or maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I'm losing track a little bit now, losing focus. Uh, that's um, Ayatollah Khomeini, so that's Iran. Thank God for an easy one. Uh, this one, Rafia, Monetary Authority. Rafia, Maldives? Okay, they have the ships and stuff there. Arabic. Okay, another cool like one. Come on, Simon. Uh, Azerbaijan. All right, let's do this again. Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan. Nope, okay. Uh, I must be missing a country which is uses Kyrillic. Ugh, that's not good. Um, okay, what do we got here? It's a script I don't immediately realize. I think this might be Nepal or Bhutan. Okay, yeah. Okay, then we've got another Arabic script. This one is Turkish uh, alphabet, well, Latin alphabet with Turkish characters, so it might be Azerbaijan. Um, Turkmenistan, it wasn't Turkey, so maybe Uzbekistan. Ugh. I can't remember which ones use Kyrillic and which ones use English. Um, Try Turkey, right? Oh, it was Turkey. Okay, I must have spelled it wrong the first time. Apologies. That should have been easy. Okay, this one is... I think this is Indonesia. They have Rapia. Okay, this will be North Korea. That's Korean script. And we've already had South Korea. That's Vietnam. That is a $100,000 dong. Okay, now we have... This one might be Cambodia. Okay. Now we have Arabic countries. So we're on 27. I think we're seven minutes left okay this one is central bank it's an elephant Burma or Myanmar hmm so we had Vietnam we had Laos we had Cambodia Did we, we had Cambodia right? I mean we had it just two questions ago what am I thinking about um we had Thailand Sri Lanka yeah there we go uh, okay, this is pounds. It might be an old note though, and it's got Arabic and then another one here as well. Okay, that's Kyrillic. Is it Bajan? Oh, we do this again. This might be Mongolia actually. That looks kind of Mongolian. Nope. Uh, Kazakhstan. Okay, Kazakhstan. Remember, we've got Kazakhstan. An Arabic one. Oman? No. Okay, we'll come back to that. This one is definitely China. That's Mao Zedong. <laughs> okay, well, I was going to say America, but I don't think it's an Asian country. So I'm trying to think which Asian countries use the um, American dollar. <sighs> I 
It's usually newer countries which use it. So Timor Leste, yeah. Okay, this one I think is Myanmar. Okay, uh, I recognize that alphabet. And then we have some more Arabic, which I just can't read. Sorry, this is Genghis Khan, Mongolia. So it's going to get a bit dicey at the end when I'm just going to guess it. This one is Uzbekistan or Turkmenistan, perhaps? Okay, I recognize that guy. Uh, he was a dictator or a leader for life. Right, so now we have the Arabic ones and the Kulak ones. So we know we've done... This one is interesting, huh? Manat. Okay, I'm just going to try a few options here. Just bear with me, Azerbaijan. Okay, I needed one, perfect. And then I am just going to do the... Okay, this is Kuralik, so it has to be... Okay, which one's weird? We had Kazakhstan, right? So, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan. Okay, I must. I think I tried that last time, but I must have misspelled it. Let's see if there's any more Kuala ones we need to get. Um, okay, so Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan we've had. Uzbekistan, Tajikistan. Okay, perfect. Again, I must have typed it wrong last time. And then we've got Arabic, 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 Arabic. Dina, I think it's going to be Arabic. Let me just think if there's any countries I've missed uh, that aren't in. Arabia. So we had Singapore, we had Malaysia, we had Indonesia, we had Brunei, we had Timor Leste, we had Philippines, we had Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Burma, we had Sri Lanka, we had the Maldives, Taiwan, Japan, North Korea, South Korea, Mongolia, Russia. Okay, um, so I think it's all Middle Eastern countries now. Okay, so this looks potentially Lebanese. Nope. Um, there's going to be one country I forget as well, just FYI. Right, he looks like a golf leader. Um, let's try Oman, Qatar, UAE, Bahrain, Kuwait, Yemen, Oman, Jordan, Jordan. Okay, perfect. Uh, this one, maybe Syria? That looks like some old kind of ruins things there. So Lebanon, yeah, I'm thinking kind of in the um, by the Holy Land. Uh, this one, I'm not so sure about. Same with this one. Well, I mean, I don't even know what I'm thinking about. Um, okay, this one has a ship. So I'm thinking Oman, Yemen, UAE, Qatar, Qatar. Perfect. Okay same deal here he looks like he's a uh, one of the leaders of one of the um, Gulf countries perhaps but I might be completely wrong here Jordan Palestine Syria Saudi Arabia okay excellent is this gonna be Afghanistan it is okay I just the architecture looked Afghani there half dinar Oh man, I don't understand why this one is in English though. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Shouldn't be UAE, Qatar. And yeah, again now I have the same problem where I actually Palestine, Lebanon. Okay, I need to get a move on. I've only got a minute and a half left. Um, Jordan. No, we had Jordan, right? Oman, okay, that was Oman, that's perfect. Uh, this one, Bahrain, I just can't remember what I've already typed. It's really annoying me. I could try something interesting. Okay, screw it, let's do it. Um, we do, I don't think I've had Kuwait yet, right? Tell me if you think this is cheating. I personally don't think it is okay that one was Kuwait uh, Yemen we haven't had yet okay Yemen is there perfect I don't think we've had Syria yet okay Syria is that one I wonder if it is gonna be a Palestine one Palestine is there perfect that makes sense Lebanon I don't think we've had or have we 
No, we have obviously. Um, guitar? Have we had guitar yet? I can't remember. Nope. Bahrain, perhaps? Oh, I'm not going to do it even with my little uh, trick here. Okay, that's Bahrain. Which just leaves this one. Which one am I forgetting? Kuwait, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, Ugh. UAE. Probably one of the easier ones to get. The banknote did look pretty flash. Um, yeah, so at the end, I have a little technique I use where I know the countries, but um, it's quite good if you know what the answer is going to be, but um, you don't want to just cycle through every iteration uh, on each clue. Uh, it's just a way of making it go faster, to be honest. Still, 48 out of 49, that's... I mean, I'll take it. It's fine. But yeah, I'd be curious to know what you guys think about that in the comments below. Um, and like I said, have a go yourself with the link in the description, or it's probably too late now. And if you've got any quiz ideas, please hit me up. I mean, I have played a lot of quizzes on Sporkle already, but a lot of it, my knowledge is forgotten as well. So I'm um, always happy to have a go at another one, especially if it's challenging or interesting or quirky or fun. Happy to give it a go. I was also thinking about possibly doing some speed runs as well, which I thought might be quite fun. And uh, yeah, share, subscribe, like, the usual drill. That'd be awesome. Okay, guys, kakite. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.